Daniel from RVing TV. Today we're going to look at a 2022 Coleman Lantern 264RL. We've been doing a number of couples units recently because that market seems to have been growing over the last year or two, uh, where more couples are looking to get away, spend a little bit of time out on their own and they don't want the bunks and the regular configurations. There's also been a trend for smaller, lighter trailers. So this 264RL might be an option. If you're looking for a couples unit, you want it to be relatively lightweight, you're new to the market, so maybe you don't want to buy a higher end trailer and invest the money into something like a Shadow Cruiser or a bigger fifth wheel, because you don't know if you're going to like camping, something like a Coleman Lantern might be a great option to start with. A little bit simpler, a very straightforward build, but offering a lot of features so that you can get out at a reasonable price point and see if you really like the camping lifestyle. Then trade it in and move up to a fancier trailer or a bigger trailer if you're planning to spend a lot of time. If you're planning to still get on a plane and go out and see some sights or do some cruising, but you want to be able to enjoy the Canadian summers, this Lantern might be an option for you. So let's take a little closer look. They have put nice features on this unit, like power tongue jack, power front and stabilizer jacks, which for this price point is a nice feature. Good storage compartment up front and a big power awning. Now, being that it's a 264, you're about 26 feet here as living space, and it's going to be about 29, 30 feet overall. They do use the Lippert Solid Step, which is a quality step, nice and sturdy to go in and out. You're going to get features like your spare tire, and it's prepped for backup camera here. You have the extended rain gutter spout, which is a nice touch, but really this type of trailer is about the living inside. It's going to weigh in at about 6,200 pounds, and when we come in, you're going to notice two nice recliners with a center table and three big windows around to let lots of natural light. And then don't forget, they have put three storage areas, compartments right above this area. They use cloth mini blinds, which is a nice touch. Here we have a futon style sofa for sleeping. But what is nice is we reach down for this little button here and it does have a foot rest on it so you could just kick back or your guests could kick back and enjoy that and same with the other side nice easy push and it folds out of the way now the recliners are actually thomas Paine recliners which is a good quality recliner as i spin around you have a nice open floor plan in this 264 good size dinette You've got your TV up at the center. This one is prepped for it, so it's easy to put it in. There's even a fireplace. And yes, it throws heat, or you can just use it for ambiance. Decent kitchen countertop space, so they've swooped it out here to give you more space. And that way you have space back here for coffee makers, your toaster, that type of, those type of items that you're going to take with you, or at least... I take with me, I always have a toaster and oddly enough I have two coffee makers. I have my Keurig for the night, uh, the days that it's just myself that's traveling and I only need to make one cup of coffee and then I carry a bigger coffee maker in case I have a few guests over for breakfast. Also I like this uh, dark stainless steel sink. I think it's super luxurious. I like the farmhouse look. So it gives it that residential look, just finishes it nicely, and they put the lit knobs for the stove and oven here. And it is a three burner with the glass top, so you have additional prep space, or push it back and it becomes part of your backsplash there. They've done a nice little colored wallpaper surround 
just to give it that extra little pizzazz, which is a nice little feature. You've got some storage here. Now, before I go too far, there was something that I did like. I look, I always look at compartment doors and I saw this compartment here and I thought, well, that's an interesting door. It's set up a little differently. It looks like it pops open. And when you pop it open, there's our garbage bin. And I thought, how smart, because a lot of times you're gonna be outside cooking, doing barbecue, prepping outside. And I hate having plastic bags out there that are getting blown away with the wind. So it's right at the door. You could pop it open like that and drop any garbage from outside. And there's still good space to go in and out. So you're not smacking yourself on it. And if you're prepping here with the countertop, it's nice and close. So I thought somebody was thinking, trying something a little bit different. Got to gotta give them some kudos on that. I like the linoleum. This is a linoleum floor that they have with that wood grain look. Just really gives it a comfortable feel. They've gone with the glass inserts on the counter, uh, on, on the counters, I apologize. I'm getting tongue tied with our cabinet doors and it just gives it a little extra look. And then we've got our microwave and range hood here. I do like the window on the kitchen side. So if you do happen to have a couple of guests, you can keep an eye out. Maybe if your grandparents and the grandkids have come up to spend the day with you in the campground, you can see them out in your camping area. They're using the 12 volt Everchill fridge. This is a 10 cubic foot fridge. So there's nice storage space here, good door space, even a spot to put some pop cans in there and then it's going to give you good freezer space and again you could put little cans here for juice etc uh, you know concentrated juice etc then there's a pantry here with a couple of extra drawers what i like about the layout and it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea this is a very private layout separating your living and your sleeping area so if you do have a few guests it just keeps this all segregated. But through the door here, it opens up into a nice size washroom. Now it's a midship washroom instead of being a fully enclosed. We're starting to see this coming back. It was very popular about 10 years ago and it's starting to come back because it makes a lot of sense. As we walk through, look at the space that it gives you because it's the entire width of the trailer. So you've got your sink and your medicine cabinet. Hi, everyone. Big corner shower. Now on the Coleman's, you're, you are going to get a shower curtain here. You've got your toilet across and then some nice storage here. There is a light up here. Oh, uh, there we go. I didn't have the lights turned on. There is a switch, which is a nice feature. But we've got some decent storage there, as well as up here, which is a nice little linen closet. Then you walk into your bedroom. There is a solid pocket door here for privacy. It's a queen size bed. They've gotten rid of the carpeting around the bed, which is a nice touch. And they've put drawers on both sides of the bed. Now you also get 110 volt plugs on both sides so this one is here and you get a usb plug in there and then on the passenger side of the unit you have your 110 plug in your usb right next to each other wardrobes on both sides with a shelf over top for additional storage and you'll hear me talk a lot about open windows that open that have screens now in this unit, you don't have the two windows because they've chosen to go with the door. And this is smart because occasionally you may have a guest stay over because that sofa converts. And if they're taking a shower, you've gotten up after them. This washroom is closed off. Of course, you can't walk through unless you have a very friendly guest. That's a different story. Hope you guys got a chuckle out of that. But here you could walk out of the bedroom door, walk around to your main door and come in if you wanted to make some coffee or make some breakfast. 
um, but a nice layout overall. It looks like the rise of rear living. We've done a few videos with this rear living layout. The rise of this rear living is becoming popular again. Many years ago was super popular, was a number one seller, and we're starting to see it becoming more prevalent again in the marketplace, and it makes sense. You can sit a few more people around if you like to entertain. The TV is right behind us, so it's a good viewing angle, and it lets you have a lot of windows, so it's very bright. Even though we have the lights on, really the lights are doing nothing in here, because, for example, these are all off, and yet look at the amount of light you get in this unit. So, if you're in the market for a couples unit new to RVing, I hope this video helps. This is the 264 RL by Coleman, and that is a Coleman Lantern by Dutchman. Very well-known name, Coleman itself, been in the trailer market for a while. I'd like to say thank you for viewing the video. We appreciate you as our viewers. I also appreciate Bella Vista RV, so I'd like to give them a quick plug because they give us access to these units. So we can bring you these walkthroughs so you can shop from home and take a look at different layouts and get an idea of what might interest you as an RVer. For information, visit Bella Vista they're in Oral Medante, Ontario at www.bellavistarv.com. They have specs, photos, and pricing. So while you're shopping, you can get a sense of what these units go for. Great dealership, big indoor showroom. So thank you to them. I'll post a link below. Thanks again to you guys. If you like the video, click the like button. Hit the subscribe and the little bell and you'll be notified as new videos get posted on our channel. Uh, we appreciate you clicking subscribe. We're pushing to 10,000 subscribers, so please help us and tell your friends. Bruno from RVing TV saying thanks again. Make sure you live life to the fullest and I hope to see you out in the campground. Take care.